Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministry. Our topic today is Power in Faith Declarations Part 2. If I perish, I perish. Go gather all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night and day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king which is not according to the law and if i perish i perish esther chapter 4 verse 16 out of satanic hatred haman had planned the ethnic cleansing of the jews in persia because mordecai refused to bow to haman as commanded by the king. As a Jew, he did this because he would not bow to a man in reverence. The devil especially hates the Jewish people because he understood the Messiah will come out of them and the Messiah will challenge his hold on the human race. He tried to kill every male child in Egypt while they were multiplying he was threatened by their presence in the world because if they would shine for god they would overthrow the altars of paganism and satan's hold on the inhabitants of the earth would be broken but as mordecai assessed the situation in his time he could see providence in the king's choosing of Esther as as his queen. To him, God had gone ahead of the Jewish enemies to provide deliverance for the Jews. But another law had been made so that no one will be able to see the king for 30 days. If Esther disobeys this law, which according to the Persians, cannot be reversed, she will pay with her life. This was the difficult situation that made her to hesitate going to talk to the king about the faith of her people. However, the uncle came to her and told her to break this ungodly, arbitrary and satanic law to present her case to the king before it is too late so that she could save herself her people and god's people in general he told her that if she would not defy the laws of the meats and the patients she and her father's house would not be spared of the coming pogrom the planned pogrom or genocide by the proud and murderous Haman, and that God was able to bring deliverance from another quarter. He encouraged her by telling her that he perceived that God had raised her and had brought her into the kingdom for such a time as this. Will she fail God? Will she allow fear to deter her or will she trust everything to God in faith? This was what led her to make the statement, I will go in unto the king which is not according to the law and if I perish, I perish. It was faith that made her to put her all on the line for God while fasting and praying the rest of the story has it that god used esther he used esther to destroy all the evil machinations of satan that threatens to destroy god's people 
Today, many dangers face God's children around the world. Child trafficking, denial of the freedom to believe and worship according to the dictates of one's conscience, poverty, false science of evolution forced on the unwary in the universities around the world, heresies in the church, injustices and inequalities in the church and in the society, erosion of the First Amendment rights, racial discrimination, tightening the news of the elite hegemony, etc. The evils are in society and some of them are backed by laws that are contrary to the word of God. What has God given you to liberate his people today? Where has he placed you so that you can defy the evil laws and even create new ones? Are you afraid to speak against oppression and corruption? Are you afraid of teaching what you believe to be true regarding creation and evolution? And regarding the present truth, are you afraid to declare what you believe about the LGBT practices, even in the church? May God give you the undaunting faith and courage of Esther to deliver many of God's children today from satanic laws and conditions. May the Lord depend on you. May you experience the power of audacious faith this is the moment of power may you have a victorious day in jesus name amen